all right guys so thanks for watching some of our build videos we are we will finish that uh goat shelter here probably later this week I, we need to go and pick up the the uh roof pieces from our friend's property and um and we've got a trailer that we can do that with now which i'm really excited about so we're going to just kind of go through what's going on around here do a, a pre-winter <laughs> homestead tour to show you what how we've broken everything down and got everybody arranged in their pens and and uh, just kind of move on uh, into our winter it has gotten cold last night we were in the teens during the day we're getting into the 40s close to the 50s and that's that's really typical of the desert uh, kind of warmer in the day and really cold at night uh, so we've we've uh, we're, we've got our chickens. These guys we've let out of this main, this uh, ban uh, bantam area because they are not bantams. Look at those roosters. So he's a big, uh, I think it's a silver laced Wyandotte or a black laced Wyandotte. Anyway, he's a Wyandotte. And this one is one of our barnyard mixes. They're both gorgeous roosters, but they're also going to make us a really good dinner. And then in here, we still have her. She's our other silver laced wine dot. We need to put her out. But what I'm going to do is just keep some of these little cochins and the silkies in here. In a couple weeks, I'm going to move our babies that are in the garage into here uh, with these guys. And then they'll have a nice place to be all winter long. Now we've had a really nice fall. We've had rain that we've needed. It saturated the ground, so when we get snow, if you can, I don't know if we can see the snow on the hills. I'll see if I can get a better picture over there. But we do have some snow up in the hills. But uh, in Utah, if we can get a good wet fall uh, to saturate the ground, then when we go into winter, the, all the snow that goes up in the mountains is just snow that will go where we need it the next spring. So it's been an awesome fall. And uh, we're going to have a really good, hopefully we're praying still for a really good snowy winter. And if we get that, then we'll fill the reservoirs back up and we will be able to have all the water that we need next year. So here we are with our other Silky Mama. Hi cute little Silky Mama and our light sussex babies and they are getting so big in fact it's really funny to watch them cuddle under their mama because they're so big they don't fit under her very good but they have a few more weeks before they are ready to go outside they're getting close though this guy's both of these guys here are roosters so they'll be dinner and then this little girl is a hen and she'll probably be dinner too. So they're all dinner. That's okay. Because they make nice big birds. All right. I hope you guys are as excited about Thanksgiving as we are. We have friends coming and some family. And it's going to be, it's just going to be nice to be at home and to have Thanksgiving. Uh, so over here we have our new trailer. I am so excited about this. This was my dad's trailer and he sold it to my uncle and when he sold it I wasn't real happy about it because I wanted the trailer <laughs> but he sold it before I could say anything before and he didn't even ask so but then my uncle decided he didn't need it and told my dad that he'd sell it to any of my dad's kids for whatever he paid for it which was five hundred dollars and if you see this trailer it's like a two thousand dollar trailer I mean it's a nice big trailer so so he so we were able to get it from him for five hundred dollars so i was absolutely thrilled about that so over the last few weeks we've been shuffling goats for a little while we had them all in here all uh five of our girls were in here uh, because we were working on that shelter we got a new bunk for the feed for these two girls and so in here all we have is Annabelle and Lucy 
And I think Annabelle is probably in heat because Stoic is over there singing to her. Does she smell good, Stoic? <laughs> but Annabelle and Lucy, they get along really well. They're super happy to be in here together. And these chickens are super happy to be in here. And they're getting big. That rooster there is getting big. He's going to be a dinner. Uh, no, not for Thanksgiving. Uh, hey, where's your band? Doesn't one of you guys have a band on? Did it come off? I put a band on one of them. Oh, he's over there. That one over there is the one I've got a band on. So apparently I've got four roosters in here. And in a little while, that's not going to be good. So I'm going to need to harvest them. And they are nice big birds. In fact, if you can see over there, beautiful bow. Uh, he's already 11 pounds, so he'll make a really nice 9-pound um, carcass. It'll be yummy for eating. Maybe we'll eat him for Christmas. But yeah, we've got this rooster here. And where'd that other one go? The rooster back over there. A couple roosters back over there. I think I thought one of those was a hen. They're not. Oh no, that one's a hen. Is that one? No. Yeah. It's a hen. Oh, I don't think I was filming. So over here we have our cute little boys. We have Stoic. Big Daddy Stoic. And we have Handsome Everett. He's Rolo's little boy. Handsome Franklin. And Franklin, we're trying to sell him. His mama produces six cups to half a gallon of milk. And if you are interested in him, uh, we can figure out shipping. I've never shipped before, but we could probably figure it out. Uh, and you can find out more information on him on our website at hubcityhomestead.com. And over here is our beautiful weather, cute little panda, our little pygmy Nigerian weather. We love him. He's super friendly. So we love our boys, but I have too many. I need one less. Hi, huh, Frankie. See, Frankie, I need, he's all, I need some girlfriends. I'll come help you make good milk and goats. I'm a good kid. <laughs> They're so friendly. I love them. Yeah, I think Annabelle is definitely in heat. She's sticking her tail. And yeah. She's hanging yeah. out with Stoic. It's not time, Annabelle. Not time. <laughs> but the chickens seem to be happy. We just aren't getting any eggs from them right now. So that's why I talk more about meat birds with them. Hi. Because that might be what we do. So we'll just keep an eye on the situation. So out here, I pulled up all my bachelor buttons, but if you can see these little things right here, this is replanting of bachelor buttons. And they're coming up because our weather, it actually has been pretty mild for this winter. Um, so those will probably die off, but I think there's still enough seeds that they'll replant themselves. I actually put in some seeds to cold stratify over the winter. And so we'll see how those go. Um, I pulled up my dahlia tubers and I didn't look at how you're supposed to harvest them before I pulled them out and I ended up destroying them. So next year we will uh, either buy some tubers or I still have some seeds for planting dahlias. Uh, this, this was from of our, one of our wildflower blends and so it's still, it's still growing really good. Yeah, this is all green. Yeah, we've had such a mild uh, fall, and it, it seems to do fine in the frost. And so we have this big, beautiful plant. Mm -hmm. And that one actually did good for a little while, but it's starting to get cold enough that it doesn't want to keep going. And same down there. It's the same plant down there. We have a pile of our bachelor buttons over here. All of these plants have done so well. And uh, we're just letting them go dormant. So we're going to end up, so one project we are going to do right here is we are going to pull out all this wire and all these T-posts except this stuff down here. We're going to leave this little chicken run um, and we'll probably put the bantams back out here 
in the springtime when things get warmer. We're not going to do peas out here anymore? No, we'll do peas. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll do peas probably down and around the chicken oh, yeah. chicken run down here. We'll do the, peas down here. Because the peas were delicious. Yeah, they were good. We, we did get some good peas, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So next year, uh, we've been just exploring the options with our squash beetles and things like that. And uh, my husband wants to plant tomatoes up here in this area next year and put our squash back in these others. And I'm thinking about uh, kind of rotating where I, or having a squash plant like in each bed so that I don't get too much cross pollination. And uh, what I'm really excited about right now is that we do have all of our garden beds in. And so I will be able to plant sooner. And I'm also looking at possibly putting either some little hoop houses, doing some little hoop things over these, a couple of these garden beds for my seedlings. Um, the biggest problem I have is I have to be careful which one I put it over because we get a lot of wind here in the spring. We don't have a lot of wind breaks other than the house. So we have our house and we have the neighbor's house as a windbreak. But the problem is, is well, it, I guess it just depends on when I start doing, when I start putting my starts out here. Uh, if it's in April, we might have enough sunlight to uh, keep go, keep the plants going in a little hoop house, uh, greenhouse, um, and that way I can have a lot of starts, starts that I can sell and share with my friends, and have plenty of starts to put into my garden. Um, but as you can see maybe I, I didn't sh I showed you this a little while ago we have so we, we were able to get the compost put onto these garden beds but our tiller busted uh, before we could till it in and so we were able to till these really good and they look great I'm really excited to have all that organic matter in there uh, so we're going to either uh, look at getting our tiller fixed or just picking up another little used tiller that we can can till these little uh, garden beds in those ones probably won't get done until spring and look our grass is coming in uh, I think most of it will come in more in the springtime but I am very confident that we are going to have a really great lawn when spring comes it's gonna look like this isn't that gorgeous? The whole thing is going to look like that. <laughs> and that's going to be awesome. And so what I'm hoping hoping to do at some point, well, probably we'll start by maybe letting the goats graze out here on this backyard. And then at some point I really do want to get some rabbits. Start raising rabbits for meat. And what we can do is we can do pasture raised rabbits on our backyard lawn with a little uh, rabbit house that we can move across the lawn every day so that they can mow our grass for us <laughs> and uh, grow up. Okay, over here we have little Daphne. We separated her from her mama and she did all right. She didn't even complain, which was so good. But we got her in here with Bart and with Dolly. Hi, Dolly, Dolly. How are you, Dolly Dolly? Dolly's doing all right with Bart. She and Bart rub along okay. Bart's a bit kind of a meanie. Dolly, we think, is pregnant. We won't know until later on when she gets bigger. And so we're excited to see what she has as far as babies. Her and Lucy are pregnant. They don't they haven't gone back into heat yet, so at this point we believe they've been bred. So in f the end of February, early March to mid-March, uh, Lucy should have her babies first and then Dolly will have her babies. And I'm really excited to see what kind of colors we get because I love her s'more colors. She's so cute. Yeah. Spot. She's still Is that kinda, your spot, Bart? She's still kind of skittish, but she likes that. Yeah. Spot, really. You like it just behind your ears, huh? 
So Daphne is supposed to be Kaylee's baby. And she's supposed to be training her. So we got to get Kaylee out more often and get Daphne on the... Get Daphne... Don't eat the strings. <laughs> Get Daphne on the lead and take her for a walk. And training her not to jump on us. <laughs> yeah, training her not to jump. Still lots of little projects to do. My big project that I need to get done is to get the metal roofing for this. Can we do this? And once I do, I get the metal roofing on this one and on the other goat shelters. Then we, I will be comfortable with my goats for winter. I think they will do just fine. And that is the condition of our homestead uh, here and just before Thanksgiving. I do want to express my gratitude for all that watch and participate here with us at our homestead. Uh, I'm so grateful for the blessings that the Lord has given us of these animals. I just love them. I love that we uh, don't have to buy milk anymore. We literally are at a point where we're getting almost half a gallon of milk a day and that means we don't have to buy milk and we're still selling some to our, our neighbor. <laughs> so uh, our chickens are slow right now in laying but it is getting its winter. They went through their molt. Uh, they'll probably uh, start laying a little bit more but it won't be anything big until February or March and then they'll start picking up again. Um, this winter we will likely be harvesting some roosters because I've got, it looks like I've got five roosters that are going to need to be harvested and, uh, and that's awesome. That's five meals for our family and, and, uh, they'll, they'll be delicious. They always have been. And, uh, so I'm grateful for these things that we've been learning for, uh, it's, it's weird because I, I didn't grow up on a farm. My great-grandparents had a farm and I loved visiting the animals and I've always loved the idea of farm life. And I don't think I could do a full big farm, at least not by myself for sure. Um, but doing this little homestead thing has been a great experience and I'm just learning things over and over and over again. And so I hope that you will continue to join us as you follow our progress through our homestead that I'm working on trying to provide content that will actually help you learn how to do some of these things. Uh, here in a week or so we will be trimming hooves again and I think I'll do a little bit more detailed explanation on how to do that. Can I say hi to everybody? Yeah, hi! Hi Daphne! My cute girl. Are you going to give me milk like your mom? So I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Take some time to express some gratitude for anything, anything that you might be grateful for in your life. And I know that you will find it'll bring joy to you to think of those things that, that uh, you are grateful for. And I am, like I said, I'm grateful for you. And we'll hope to see you on our next video. Bye-bye.